Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. We welcome everyone joining us for the celebration of the Mass in person and online. Our celebrant is Father Frank. Mass intention is for the repose of the soul of Rosa E. Magallanes. Our second collection today is for the Parish Improvement Fund. Thank you for your generosity. A special welcome to those visiting our parish from near and far. Please come see us again. The flowers have been donated by Pablo Manuel Aranda and Belia Nelly Flores Esparza in honor of their 25th wedding anniversary. If you would like to donate flour or candles, please contact the parish office. This Friday, we will celebrate Father Heidel's 16th anniversary of priestly ordination, starting with a mass at 6.30 and followed by a potluck fellowship in the parish hall. Today, we will collect mass ticket 130. Please stand. Greet everyone around you with the love of Christ. Let us sing joyfully to the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm Father Frank, and I'm delighted to celebrate this last Christmas celebration. Today is the last day of Christmas. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, to those tres reyes, verdad? The three kings. I come to you. Do I to give you my name? Yes. Okay. Father Frank. Father Frank, that's me. I come to you from <clears throat> Stone Mountain, Georgia, which is right outside of Atlanta. It's quite famous, actually. Uh, we get psh, over a million tourists. You can look it up Stone Mountain. Georgia. And I want to welcome each and every one of you, especially those who may be visiting, and welcome as well those who are watching us from home. I want to thank Father Hiro for the invitation to Cross Catholic Outreach. That's the organization I represent. He asked us to share our ministry with you. Our ministry of bringing food shelter, hope to the very poorest around the world, from Asia to Africa, the Caribbean, 
the Americas. I want to thank you for opening your hearts. I do hope you will do that today, and we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about how to make a miracle happen. I bet none of you came to Mass this morning thinking that you would make a miracle happen. I'm going to give you that opportunity. But all of us are here because our Lord has invited us to this holy banquet. What a blessing. So we come with grateful hearts and maybe with repentant hearts because sometimes when we forget that he's with us, we do all kinds of stupid stuff. So we begin by asking for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to manifest the presence and the love of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you continue to come to us in word and sacrament to manifest your holy presence, your great love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, for the times that we seem to be blind and fail to see you in one another and to love you in each other, in ourselves, Lord, have mercy. May our loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already in faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples but upon you the Lord shines, and over you appear his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. 
they all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his day and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall Forgives. The kings of Arabia and Sheba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord.
My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A proclamation of the good news according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to be shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. I was born in a little town in Sicily, and when I was a child, we got our Christmas presents not on Christmas Day, but on this feast day, the Feast of the Three Kings. Now, whether you got yours at Christmas or today, I hope you got the gift that you most wanted. I know that God did. God got the Christmas gift that God truly wanted. And he got it thanks to our Blessed Mother because she said yes and gave God her flesh so that Jesus could be born among us. She gave him life. And in giving God the greatest gift that God wanted, she gave herself the greatest gift that one could imagine. For she, we now know and call the Mother of God, the feast day that we celebrate just Monday. But you know, nobody, not even God, wants a gift, a great gift, just once. God continues to want the very best gift, life, from each of us. Wow. How can we, mere humans and sinners to boot, how can we give life to God? Well, he told us in this very Gospel of Matthew, today I proclaim from the beginning, at the end of the gospel, God says to us, I was hungry, 
and you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me to drink. I was dying, and you gave me life. When? When, Lord? Whenever you did it to my little ones, you did it to me. Now, on my stole, you may not be able to see, even on the screen, on my stove are faces of children around the world. It is the face of Christ in children around the world. Children who are dying of hunger and thirst every day. It is Christ who is dying of hunger and thirst in these children each and every day. I have seen our Lord dying of hunger in too many children in too many places in Haiti. What does a mother do when her children come crying because they are starving and she has no food to give them? She gives them what they call good, good bread. It isn't. It's mud cakes that they have made and they add a little bit of salt to give it flavor. Then they set it in the sun to dry. And this is what they feed their children when they have no food, just so they will have something in their empty bellies. Can you imagine doing that with your children, your grandchildren? I tasted one of these mud cakes out of curiosity. You could add all the salt in the world. Mud is mud. I have seen our Lord dying of hunger in places like Manila, the Philippines, Mexico City, Managua, Nicaragua, Tegucigalpa, Honduras, right there in the middle of these large cities are mountains. But you will never see these mountains in travel brochures because these are mountains of stinking garbage. And the word stinking doesn't even come close to describing the awful stench that literally takes one's breath away. It gagged me. I could not breathe. I had to force myself to walk with our brothers and sisters, and I did, because I wanted to pray with them and perhaps offer some words of hope. And as I walked with them, I could not believe how many actually live on these garbage dumps, including children who should have been in school or a playground. Mm -mm. That's where they were. That's where they are, and from the crack of dawn to late at night, they scrounge around trying to find food. And if not food, some garbage to sell to buy food. I have seen our Lord dine of thirst in children in Ethiopia. I went there to help open an orphanage. One of my friends asked the bishop, good bishop, what can we do to help you? You know what he said? How far does your wife have to walk to get water? That very day, some of us accompanied some children and their moms, and we carried these five gallon plastic jugs, and then we walked and walked and walked. So finally, we got to a stream, and in that stream, there were cattle standing and drinking and doing everything else that comes natural to all God's creatures. And that was the filthy water that they brought home to drink, to cook with. Is it any wonder that so many, especially children, die from cholera and from diarrhea? At Cross Catholic Outreach, it's our mission, it's our dream to help transform these lives. And thanks to you, and good people like you, we can and we do provide food and water to millions. Right now we have a major project throughout the world, but mostly in Eastern Africa that suffers from perennial drought. Our goal, to drill hundreds of wells. They're not cheap, 5,000 per well, but each well will provide clean water, life-giving water, 
to a whole village of hundreds, maybe thousands, for years. Not a bad investment. But we can't do it without you. And thanks to you and good people like you, we have built homes, schools, clinics, churches, and chapels for thousands. I was in Guatemala last year, and each day I celebrate Mass from village to village to village. You know, our brothers and sisters not only hunger for material food, like you, like me, they hunger for this spiritual nourishment. Thank you for making it happen. And these children, they didn't ask anybody to be born poor. They did not choose to be born in a third world country in poverty. But you and I, we have such great power. We can give them a better tomorrow, a brighter future. We can give them hope. And education is the key. And we work with their parents as well to give them some job skills, or maybe some poultry, some goats, some pigs, something to raise so that they can provide for their families and transform their lives and their communities. That's our goal. We don't just want to feed people. We want to help them help themselves. But we can't do any of that without your help. So I've come begging in the hope that you will open your heart and make a miracle happen. Wouldn't you love to make a miracle happen? What a great Christmas present that would be for God, for you. So what do you have to do to make this miracle happen? Well, I have some beautiful young people help me put out some brochures. Grab one, if you would. They should be somewhere alongside of you there. If you don't find one, there's more in the back when you leave, but there should be one. Open it up. I'm not going to walk you through it because I want you to take it home and pray about it. Now, those of you who are not here, you're watching us, you don't have a brochure, but you can get the same message by texting 474747. It will take you to our website and give you the information and tell you how you can help us. Now, those of you who have the brochure, what I want to point out, something that I think is very, very important. You see that pie chart? That speaks volumes. It tells you that we believe in transparency. We believe in telling you where your money goes. And I hope you never give your money to anybody not even to a priest in church, unless you know how much of your money actually goes to the poor. 95%. I flew in from Atlanta, I'll fly back later tonight. It costs money. But all our expenses, about five cents out of every dollar. There's a place for prayers here. I hope you pray for us. Know that we will pray for you. Just give us your name, the name of the person you want us to pray for. Whatever your intention may be, you, they, your intention will be in our prayers all year long. Different ways you can make a contribution. One time, monthly, check, cash. But if you make it with cash, don't mail your contribution in. Now you've got three options, okay? You can text the message 474747. The message to send is blessings or Take the brochure home, pray about it, make your decision. You can mail it in. You don't need a stamp. It's pre-posted. Or if you want to, you can give it to me on the way out. Don't put it in the collection basket. There's no collection for us today. There are two collections, but not for us, okay? Now, the brochure has a perforated line down the middle, and the parts separate. The part with the beautiful nun, holy nun, and these precious kids, that is an envelope. Take a brochure, take as many as you like to share with family and friends. Please put something in the envelope. Now, there are some great suggestions here. I would like to make one, my favorite, helping these kids to have a future. But to make that happen requires a sacrifice. I hope you don't let that word scare you. You know, sacrifice, that word sacrifice, 
come from two Latin words, sacro fisio, sacro, holy, fisio, to make, to make holy. Isn't that our quest? To become more and more holy? To be one with our Lord and our Blessed Mother? The sacrifice I'm going to ask of you, if you can, is $100. It's a lot of money. Probably less than you spend for your weekly grocery, but still, that's a lot of money. But for a sacrifice of $100, you can make a life-giving miracle happen. You can give life to our Lord in some hungry child for a whole year. Can you imagine feeding someone day in and day out for a whole year for just $100? And for that same hundred, you give them the clothes they need and the education they need so that they can transform their lives. If that's not a miracle, I don't know what is. If you can do it, do it. Some of you perhaps can do more, do more. I was down here in Victoria, not too far from here. And between masses, a man came to me and said, Father, are you going to be here a while? I said, I have a lot of masses. I'll be here. I'll be back. He left, came back, gave me an envelope with $3,100 bills. He said, I don't want to change the life of one child. I want to transform the life of a whole classroom of 30 kids. I went to Minnesota. At the end of a mass, a woman came out gave me a check for $10,000. At that same mass, a man came out, gave me a check for $20,000. He said, Father, drill as many wells as you can. The week before Christmas, the man said, Father, put me down for 100000 Now, not all of us have that ability, but each of us has the ability to do the best we can. Do the best you can to give the best gift to our Lord and to yourself. Do the best you can to give life to God in you and thereby give the best gift to yourself by giving life to you. Do what you can. Thank you. God bless you. You're very kind, but I don't need applause. I would love an envelope. Thank you. Ah. You probably have gotten to know these young people, haven't you? Joining our community of faith. You are an inspiration to us, thank you. Dear friends, like the Magi, you have searched for Christ. That search has brought you here to this holy place. As you go forth to reflect more deeply on the word of God, we promise you our prayers and support as you continue on your journey to discover Christ manifested in ever new ways. We long for the day when you will share fully with us at his table. Blessings and go in peace. We stand for what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With every confidence that our Lord is here, not only to listen to our prayers, but to pray with us, we offer our petitions. Let us pray for the church, for ourselves, that we may reflect the light of Christ as we preach the gospel, minister to those in need, and exercise our Christian values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, Jesus, our prayer. hear our prayer. Let us pray that the light of peace may permeate our world so that all may live free from the threat of hostility, violence, and war, especially in Israel, Palestine, Russia, and Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, Jesus, our prayer. hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who search for a place to call home, especially refugees, immigrants, and those who are seeking asylum, that they may fi find welcome and hope in their new homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the safety of all who are traveling and for our donors, ministries, families, children, the elderly, and the unemployed that the Lord will see to their every need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our intentions and the intentions of our families celebrating this Mass with us online, for the repose of the soul of Rosa e Magallanes, in thanksgiving for Father Frank as he celebrates Mass with us today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for vocations. Jesus, our Savior, your sacred heart felt compassion when you looked upon the crowd and saw that they were like sheep without a shepherd. We know that the harvest of souls is abundant, but the laborers few. So we ask you, the master of the harvest, to send out more laborers. Open my heart and the hearts of my brothers and sisters to your will and raise up abundant faithful servants of the gospel, devoted and holy priests, sisters and brothers who spend themselves for your people in the Diocese of Austin. May none of your flock, one at the price of your blood, be without a shepherd to guide them. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now approach the altar of the Lord, bringing our offerings, the fruit of our work, our hopes, and our prayers. May the Lord accept our offerings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.
My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God, for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, because this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, Joe, our Bishop, Hiro, our pastor, all your clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of the resurrection. At this Holy Mass, we remember most especially Rosa, for whom we prayed, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, Saint Joseph, her spouse, and our patron saint, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be always with you. Amen. Thank you. Let us share Christ's peace with one another. Peace, my brother. Thank you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and not worthy they should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you cannot receive Holy Communion today, please say this prayer with me. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear light and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a seat. There's going to be a second collection for your church, uh, for the church fund. And then we'll have a blessing of religious articles. So if you have a religious article that you want blessed, would you stand with your article? Blessed be your name, O Lord. You are the fount and source of every blessing, and you look with delight upon the devout practices of the faithful. Draw near, we pray, to these, your servants, as they use this symbol of their faith and devotion, grant that they may also strive to be transformed into the likeness of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. God bless in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes. Um, are there any who are visiting us for the first time? Thank you. Where are you from? Well, we didn't find out where you're from. Where are you from? Okay, and you? Oh, you're all together. How about you guys? Iowa? Wow. And back there? We had two guys back there. Where are you from? Well, thank you for joining us. No, this, uh, this is your home away from home. Thank you. God bless. How about anybody celebrating a birthday today? Well, you're too fast. So we got a couple of twins over here. Come over here, guys. Max and Alexander, two of our servers. Today is their quince. And, and over there, we had a couple of women, and today is their quince as well. <laughs> now we can applaud. How about any anniversaries? Ah, how many years? 41? Oh, four. <laughs> Good. 25? Well, Congratulations. May God continue to bless your love through your love. Yeah. Why don't you all stand now? Thank you. Thank you for celebrating with us today and enriching our celebration with your presence and your participation. A very special thanks to all who serve us, these ministers. You know, we couldn't celebrate this Holy Mass without them. Thank you so much. Most especially, I want to acknowledge the young people who also served. All those people who were here at the collection, thank God, and all our servers. So we got Gio and uh, uh, Eva, um, Sarah, Alexander, Max, Paul Gabriel. Where's Camila? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Let's show them all our appreciation, please. You know, as I get older, I tend to forget a lot. 
if you do too, if you forget everything, everything, never, never, never forget, the Lord is with you. And may our loving God bless us all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go and make miracles. Thanks be to God. Is there a prayer not worth that? Okay. No. Sub tuum presidium confucimus, Sancta Dei Genitrix, Nostras deprecaciones, Ne despicias in necessitatibus, Sed a pericolis conctis, liberanos semper, virgo benedicta. And may the souls of our faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Amen.